Okay, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Startup Garage Podcast, your source for all things startup. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Andrea Wilson-Woods on the line, and she is CEO and co-founder over at Cancer U. Andrea, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So uh, I'm excited to have you on today. I can't wait to get into your new book, um, Better Off Bald, A Life in 147 Days. So I want to get into the book, but before we do that, um, let's go a little bit further into what you're doing over at Cancer U. Uh, Tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Sure. So Cancer U is a health tech startup, and we are a membership platform for cancer patients and caregivers to educate and empower them to become advocates for themselves in order to improve outcomes and also reduce costs. So we are a B to B to C company. Our end users of the platform are the patients and caregivers, but our actual customers are payers, providers, and pharmaceutical companies. And at the time of this recording, um, we are bound to launch a pilot program that's kind of on pause right now with COVID-19, but we have signed all the paperwork to launch a pilot program with a really big NCI center, and um, yeah, it's just, it's very exciting, it's going really well, and I'm extremely passionate about helping cancer patients and caregivers. Well, that's amazing, um, and, that, and that is exciting, and I think that's a good uh, transition. Let's get into your book, so Better Off Bald, A Life in 147 Days. So where do you want to begin with this one? Well, I, I guess the, the why, you know, why I wrote this book, um, the story Uh, covers the seven years of my life during my 20s when I raised my younger sister, Adrienne. I got custody of Adrienne when I was living in Los Angeles. I was 22 years old. I had finished college at USC, and my sister was eight, and I became her legal guardian, and I was her only parent. I raised her all through my 20s until one day, one month after her 15th birthday, she was diagnosed with stage 4 liver cancer. And her her cancer journey only lasted 147 days. It was um, very quick. Um, it was really incredibly brutal, and um, and that is what the book is about. It's about that 147 day journey, but also flashes back to the seven years um, of my life when I when I raised her. Um, I was a parent in my 20s. I I kind of wow. joke around with people, yeah, that I, I did everything dif- like backwards and differently. Mm-hmm. So I was a parent in my 20s, I got married mm-hmm. in my 30s, and now I start a business in my 40s. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, just kind awesome. of to laugh. Um, awesome. But that is why I'm so passionate uh, about um, helping cancer patients and caregivers because I've lived it. Wow. And I find that when it comes to a business, a book, anything, like when somebody's why is like that, it just, I mean, to me, it makes all the difference. It's really because, because especially when you say, um, I don't care what age, you said 40s uh, for uh, for starting a business. I don't care what age you're starting a business. And that's never going to be an easy thing, number one. Number two, you need something, you're going to need something in there that keeps you going, keeps you strong when things don't go your way, right? So um, yeah. that to me is always one of those, like, those things you need, those corners. Cornerstones. Um, I want to get a little bit further into the book. So I, I love the way I love the way that it's um, that it's kind of laid out. So meaning how you're going literally day by day uh, through the book and sharing some of the things. Um, now I know this is a, and obviously we're not going to have time to go through the entire book. And if we did, by the way, we wouldn't because we want the listeners to go out there and buy it. Just so you know, it's really easy <laughs> right. to find. I went on Amazon and I literally typed uh, in a better off bald, and you will uh, you will see it. But that that being said, um, can you talk about a couple of the, and I'm sure there's many, but just pick out maybe one or two of the, the memorable moments in this book that just kind of stuck out with you, that every time you read those words, you're just like, ah, takes you right back there. Um, I think one of the, the biggest moments in the book is that, um, well, sort of one of the overall themes is that my mm-hmm. sister really um, did not feel sorry for herself. She really wow. decided to take take this opportunity to do everything that she ever wanted to do in her life. So she got to meet her favorite musician, Dave Navarro of Jane's Addiction, twice. Wow, and, no yeah, way. 
Yeah, yeah, during those 147 days. Um, uh-huh. And the first time was on The Tonight Show when Jay Leno was still hosting The Tonight Show in Burbank, California, right down the street from our house at the time. And the second time was um, on her Make-A-Wish Day when she got a private concert with Dave Navarro. And, um, you know, and that was all on her. I didn't do any of that. She made all of that happen. And um, and one of my wow. favorite memories, yeah, is, is when we were meeting her new pediatric oncologist. I had moved her care to UCLA, and we had been waiting forever to get there and to get into his office. And we got a call from the Make-A-Wish coordinator letting us know that, oh, yeah, that, that wish Adrian wants, it's going to happen. And by the way, Dave Navarro knows who she is, and she was just so excited. And, and Oh, of course my he gosh, knew who I have chills right? right now. Yes. I know, right? Well, she had already met him on The Tonight Show, and it wasn't that long ago. And so, <laughs> so we go in, and we meet this new pediatric oncologist, and without missing a beat, the first thing out of her mouth is, she's, Dave Navarro knows who I am. And he immediately, <laughs> he just he went right there with her, right? And he said, "Well, who is Dave Navarro?" You know, and and he did it in such an engaging way, and he wasn't condescending, but he just mm. met her at her level. And in that moment, it wasn't about her cancer. In that moment, mm. it was just about a 15-year-old girl being extremely excited about meeting one of her heroes, and that hero knowing who she is. And in fact, um, I contacted Dave and. Um, and send him a copy of the book, and he promoted on on his Facebook and on Twitter, and and he's just he really is a, an amazing man. Oh man, chills over here! I'll tell you, <laughs> chills. I'm like, oh, it's so, oh my gosh, you just took us there. I think took the whole audience there um, with us. Um, so thank you for sharing that story. Um, I know that's a very special um, moment in time for you, and uh, definitely yeah. for all of us that are listening to it. So thank you for that. Um, so, Andrea, that being said, um, uh, um, couple, last couple of questions here. So, uh, in terms of, let's go back to Cancer U a little bit more. So, with Cancer U, I mean, how do people learn more? How do they get involved? I mean, tell us a little bit more about that end of things, please. Uh, to learn more about Cancer U, just go to cancer.university. So, it's not a dot .com or dot .org. It's just cancer.university. I was very fortunate to secure that domain name. And um, I have a gift for your listeners, which would be the perfect time for me to tell them about it. Should I do it now? Do it now. Come on. Don't hold that. <laughs> All right. So go to cancer.university, click apply now, and we have a special coupon code for your listeners. So they click apply now. They fill out the application. When they get to the bottom where it says, I have a coupon code, the coupon is Mission Matters, all caps, all one word. And that will waive um, any fee. It'll be a lifetime membership to Cancer U. Wow, that's amazing! So th- thank you for that. That is amazing. Um, and uh, and if, if somebody wants to learn more about the book, I mean, what's the best way for them to to find out about that and to connect? Best way to find out about the book is go to betteroffbald dot com. Um, so b e t t e r o f f b a l d dot com. I have to spell it because. I was told one time someone didn't understand me because my accent, go figure. And <laughs> so, um, and you can see, you know, all the different retailers where to buy it. That's also where you can connect with me on social media. Everything's there. Fantastic. Well, Andrea, really appreciate you coming on the show today and sharing more about all the great work that you're doing over at Cancer U, and of course, um, about the about your book. Um, so, Better Off Bald: A Life in 147 Days. Uh, if you're listening to this, definitely head on over to Amazon or or to the website and pick up a copy of this. I'm um, really easy to find. Um, and to the listeners, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store and if you're watching this on our YouTube channel um, Mission Matters Startup Garage definitely give that a subscribe but also leave some comments on the video I mean love to know um, what kind of projects and what kind of startups and things you're working on and Andrea thanks again for coming on the show